Hey guys, and welcome to another Craft Love Tastic tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this pencil grip using your loom. Don't forget to look for the Craft Love Tastic cart during this tutorial and to post in the comment section below where you think you saw it. I hope you have tons of fun making this grip with me and that your grip turns out nice. You're going to need your loom, a pencil, um, a base remover, your hook, and of course, some rubber bands. Let's get started. First things first, please remove your middle row. Completely take it out, and then using your base remover, remove the bottom base. So your loom now looks all funky like this. Now to start the grip, take your first rubber band, mine is going to be black, and put it from this peg to this peg, like this. So you put half like that, and the other half over there in a figure eight. Then, push that down, and do another eight from here to here. Push that down, and do another eight, like this. And one last, figure eight from here oops sorry if my hands getting in the way to there just like that and push all four pegs down now take your second layer band and put it on all four pegs and push it down cuz we're going to be adding one more layer so this black on all four pegs, but make sure that everything is still in order when you push it down, like this. Now, I am going to go in to this peg, and I'm going to grab the bottom two black rubber bands and pull them over the top layers, making sure that everything stays in its order. Then I'm going to go under here and grab the bottom two black rubber bands and pull them over, push it down. Now I am going in here and grabbing the bottom two black rubber bands and pulling them over, still making sure that everything is staying in its order. And then these two rubber bands doing the same thing. Push all four pegs down and add your next color. Mine will be orange, so put it across all four of the pegs. Same thing with all four red rubber bands. So get right in there and grab this red rubber band, pull it over. Grab this, pull it over, this rubber band, pull it over. Last but not least, I'm going to pull over this red rubber band. This one here, pull it straight over. Then push all of this down and it's time to add another black rubber band. Now continue this pattern somewhere around seven, so six to eight more times, and then come back for more. Woo! Warning! Do not pull down on the bottom of the grip while you're still making it, unless you want to take the whole thing apart, have a super hard time doing it, and have to start all over. Don't pull down on the bottom. Like I said, I just finished somewhere around seven more layers. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and stick it inside the little hole eraser down. And then continue the pattern like this. The way, If you want to wait a few more layers to put in the pencil, you can, it just might be a little harder. The reason that you might want to wait is because you have to put the band over the pencil and then on the loom 
every single time you want to put a rubber band on. Just like that. So now complete your pattern. Keep doing your pattern until your grip is long enough. You can now pull on the bottom just a little bit, but still don't pull too much because the grip um, will kind of shrink up and you won't be able to stretch it or like get it up and down the pencil so that you can sharpen the pencil. So come back when you think that your grip is long enough. Thanks, and I'll see you a little bit later. Like I said to do, I just finished um, my grip. Well, it's long enough. I didn't finish it yet, but it's long enough for me. So what I'm going to do, well, you can see that I just put on my last rubber band. So what I'm going to do is hook over the bottom black rubber bands just like I would do on any other layer. Just like that. Now normally right here I would put on another rubber band and then hook the bottom bands, but instead right now to finish it off I am going to just hook in these um, bottom rubber bands. Carefully. So now I just have one loop on each of my pegs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot the grip to the top of my pencil which might be a little hard since the grip is um, really secure on my pencil but I'm going to just scoot it down to the tip very tight here. Okay. If you want to twist it, now's the time. So just twist it up like that. I personally want mine to stay straight. So I'm just going to do that. And what I'm going to do now is um, actually quite hard. It's the hardest part of the entire grip. I'm going to take one at a time. I'm going to take this loop and put it over the pencil carefully, making sure that my bands don't break. This loop. This loop. And then this loop. So now my pencil grip is secured onto my pencil and you definitely don't want to take this off or else these bands will spring out and um, your grip will fall apart so yeah just don't take it off of the pencil and but now you have your cool pencil grip that you can show off to your friends and um, everything if you enjoyed making this with me and your grip turned out like you hoped it would, please like this video, um, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and be sure to post in the comments box where you saw the Craft Love Tastic heart and um, your next craft request. It can be a rainbow loom request, it can be a different craft request, anything that you can think of will do. And just cross your fingers that I pick your request. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!